Hey guys, today what we're going to be looking at is linear equations. So linear, equ uh, excuse me, um, transformations, excuse me. So uh, transformations is when we have a linear equations and we're going to do stuff to it, whether it is moving it uh, the line up and down. So if I have a line, I might move it um, up a few units or I might move it down a few units. I might even change the direction of the graph. And I want to compare it against stuff that is steeper um, and less steep to an original line. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about. It says write a new equation that would transform the graph y equals x minus 4 as stated. So we're going to use y equals x minus 4 as a baseline and we're going to um, translate the line. So on mine, I drew a little graph here for a reference. Uh, you don't need to look at that, but um, it will visually help you with it. So let's go ahead and look at it. It says I want us to shift the graph up three units. So if I just look at all these points and I go up one, two, three, um, here's this point, I go up one, two, three, and I look at this point, I go up one, two, three, you can see that I can start um, to visualize those points and what it would look like. So if I had a line that was up three more units, how does the equation differ? When I move the line up and down, I want you to notice that the slope doesn't change. I still go up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. So my slope is still one, but now my y-intercept is different. That's where the movement happens. My b value changed. So instead of it being negative four, it got moved up one, two, three to negative one. Therefore, the equation of the line is y equals x minus one. All right, so let's go and look at the next one. It says a y-intercept that stays the same. So I'm going to stay right here, which that's my b value. So my b value is negative 1, but I want it to be less steep. Excuse me, that was my negative, uh, that was my b value for the previous one. So my b value is negative 4. So in order to get a slope that is less steep, what we want to do is, if here's my line, I want to have it so right here stays the same, but it's going to be less steep. So it's kind of going to rotate down a little bit more. And um, it should be about right here. And if I rotate it, I want it to be less steep. So we got to figure out what my rise over run is there. So this is would make it more steep. This would make it less steep. So only thing I need to do now is keep the slope less than it is here. So on my equation, I have a slope of 1x minus 4. This 1 is the slope. I need a number that is less than 1. So an example of that would be y equals 1 half x minus 4. It could be 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 2 thirds, so on and so forth. It just has to be less than 1. All right, now write an equation that would transform y equals x minus 4 as stated. It wants to be parallel to y equals x minus 4, but the line is translated down 6 units. So same idea now. Uh, if this is my line, I'm going to overlap it, and I'm going to have a line that's translated down 6 units. It's going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My new y-intercept, you can see, is negative 10. So my equation is y equals x, because my slope didn't change, it's still 1x. But instead of minus 4, since I went down 6 units, it's going to be minus 10. All right, so now what it says, it says compare the, uh, the parent equation to y equals negative 3x. Describe the difference. So this is going... Um, if I look at these points, I go down 1, 2, 3, over 1, down 1, 2, 3, over 1, down 1, 2, 3, over 1. I want to change this to going up 3 over 1. So um, if I start here, I go up 1, 2, 3 to the right 1, up 1, 2, 3 to the right 1, so on and so forth. I want you to notice the difference between these two lines. The two lines have the same steepness. They're both equally as steep but the difference is is the direction so the direction changes direction changes but steepness is the same is the same all right 
So let's go ahead now and look at the next part. It says, what about y equals negative 2x? I need to figure out if it's the same direction. It will be the same direction because they're both negative, but which one is going to be steeper? So if I start at the origin, I go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, so on and so forth. And then I'm able to connect these lines. And now I look at them, I want you to be able to identify which one's more steep. So if you're a little snowboard, snowboarder or a bike rider, would it be more steep going on the blue or on the red? The red one looks a little bit more vertical, so the red one is more steep. So how is negative two, y equals negative 2x different? It is less steep. It is less steep than y equals negative 3x. And that's because it has a less rise um, than the other one. So this one I go down 2 over 1, but this one I'm going down 3 over 1. All right. Now how is y equals negative um, 3x plus 4 different? So let's go ahead and graph this then. So the difference is they both have the same slope as negative 3x, but they have a different y-intercept. This one, blue line, has a y-intercept of positive 4. So these two lines have the same steepness, but the difference here is the y-intercept. This one is translated up 4 units. So y equals negative 3x plus 4 is translated 4 units up. And that's why it has a y-intercept of 4 instead of 0. All right, guys, if you have any questions on any of these, uh, please feel free to email me or your teacher, and have a great day.